Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am joined by guest Atroit from the Atroit Talk Show today to make predictions on the 2022 NBA Finals matchup between the Boston Celtics and the Golden State Warriors. Most people seem to have belief in this Warriors team right now, but the Celtics are a team that is known for having a strong defense, particularly their perimeter defense. Ultimately, it will probably come down to which superstars will play better overall in this series. Before I say anything else, though, I want to present you guys with the top question. So here it is. Who will win the 2022 NBA Finals, Celtics or Warriors, in how many games? Warriors are definitely going to take this thing in a maximum of six games, but I got to go into five games here. Um, I say this because the Celtics, man, they're front runners. Um, in, in Dub Nation, that's what we talk about all the time. We're not a front runner team. And when we play against teams that are front runners, hey, they make it beat us. But second half, we're going to win the entire game. And um, I don't think they have enough um, playoff experience to really keep up with us because we have four guys that have three or more, that have three rings at least. And they don't even have one guy that has one ring on their team. Wow. Wow. To say that this is going to go a maximum of six games, that you seem to be really confident in yourself by saying that. Because I don't even believe that. I'm a Warriors guy. I've been supporting the Warriors since day one, since I've been watching basketball. Steph Curry's the guy who got me into the game of basketball. But to say that this would be a maximum of six games, no, I think this is going to be a back and forth series. And you say Boston Celtics, they're a front runner team. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. The Boston Celtics have never lost two games in a row in the NBA playoffs. They're red hot right now. They make the plays that are necessary. And I'm telling you what, this Boston Celtics team, they are a matchup nightmare. I know I sound like I'm kind of beating around the bush when I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm going to pick to win. But I just think this Boston Celtics team can give the Warriors matchup nightmares because they got the personnel that it takes to at least slow down this Warriors team. But at the end of the day, what wins you games? Superstar players. And there's only one Steph Curry in the world. The Golden State Warriors, they got Steph Curry. The Boston Celtics, they don't got a Steph Curry. Steph Curry is the best player in this series. And let me also tell you this. As great as the Celtics team is in terms of chemistry, this Warriors team is pretty good. It's not pretty great at their chemistry as well. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, Kevon Looney with the offensive rebound, Jordan Poole off the bench. And then you got Moses Moody and Kaminga, two key rookies that are playing good minutes for this team. So the way I'm seeing this, oh yeah, and don't forget about Andre Iguodala. He may be coming back for the finals as well. So the way I'm looking at this, the Warriors, they're a deep team, just like the Celtics are, and they got more talent. I think the Warriors are going to win the NBA finals. I'm going to go ahead and say seven games. Although if this is over in six games, I, I would not be surprised one bit. I do think this will be a minimum of six games, but I'm going to go ahead and say the Warriors in seven. Definitely. Um, you brought up some key points there. Uh, one key thing that I definitely want to bring up in this is the fact that you got Stephen Curry, Jason Tatum, Clay, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is not in that same upper echelon like the other players that I mentioned before, and he's their second best offensive weapon that they have. Um, but one key player that the Boston Celtics um, that I want to mention here is um, – um, Derek White, Derek White. Um, Derek he's White, been ball since he had a kid every single game, over 20 since the kid. And he may come out and have a strong performance, kind of like how we seen Fred Van Fleet a few years ago. Um, but I don't think it's going to be enough to get done. Um, the Boston Celtics, their best bet is to have Marcus Smart come out and injure Steph Curry like he did earlier in the season. It's going to be real competitive. The Boston Celtics on the offensive end, they run a – I hate them watch. I hate watching them play basketball. To be honest, um, their offensive sets are a lot of times give one player the ball, let him cook up. Everybody else get out of the way. Wait for the ball to three point line. That is disgusting basketball, and it will be exposed. This story talks, man. I I have the crystal ball. I always am a hundred percent with my predictions. Watch, it's going to get exposed. Go to State Warriors. Let's go. All right, yeah, I, I hope whatever you just said is going to happen. That's what I want to see happen, but I'm not so confident it can happen. But I'll say this, though, for the Golden State Warriors. Jason Tatum, how are they going to guard him? They got Andrew Wiggins, right? Andrew Wiggins, one of the best perimeter defenders in all of basketball. Just answer this with a quick yes or no. You agree? 
Yes. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Andrew Wiggins, Jalen Brown. And I think you kind of undersold Jalen Brown a little bit. You kind of put him in that lower tier. I think he's a pretty good basketball player. Look, I'm not going to say he's an elite guy, but he's a great number two scoring option. I think you're kind of selling him a little bit short there. But as far as I'm concerned with Jalen Brown, who's going to take care of him? Clay will, right? We agree? Mm, no. No. Well, who do you think going to take care of Jalen Brown? Clay or oh, AD yeah. or yeah, Draymond. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Or GP2. Yeah, the point is the Warriors, they got a point of versatile, versatile defenders. And you kind of just made my point, even though you didn't necessarily agree 100% with what I said. The point is the Warriors, they got depth all over the place, and they have a nice nucleus of players, and they can beat you in a variety of ways. Everybody be talking about how Boston, they can beat everybody in a variety of ways. No, this Golden State Warriors team, they can win the game by shooting threes. They can win the game by dominating the paint. They can win by playing elite defense. And I'll tell you what, in this NBA, what it takes to win, you need elite perimeter defense. Now, Boston Celtics, they have that, but the Golden State Warriors, they are the best when it comes to having perimeter defense. They also have the better head coach as well. Now, I want to give Ama Yudoka his props. He's a great coach, took the Celtics to the finals year one, but he's not better than Steve Kerr, okay? Steve Kerr is probably a top two coach in the NBA right now, if not the number one head coach in all of basketball. Let's just be honest with ourselves. So you look at it from a coaching standpoint, advantage Warriors. You look at the star players and the star power, Golden State Warriors. You look at the depth and you look at the bench pieces and the role players around them. Advantage, Golden State Warriors. Really, the Boston Celtics, the only advantage they have over the Golden State Warriors is length. And that's only because Steph Curry isn't to, you know, super tall or anything like that. But Steph Curry more than makes up for it with his elite three-point shooting. Speaking of which, let's talk about Steph Curry right now. So Steph Curry, do you think that he will win NBA Finals MVP? If not, who's going to be your pick? Yeah, I definitely have Steph Curry coming out here getting his first NBA Finals MVP. If that doesn't happen, next up I got Clay, And if there's somehow an um, if there is an upset, there's no other player on Boston that I see going out there averaging 30 plus um, in the finals. Yeah, I, th I think that Steph Curry, he's going to win finals MVP. We got the Warriors winning this. I don't really see another candidate that could honestly compete. Remember, Kevin Durant, he's not on the Golden State Warriors anymore. And unless Klay Thompson goes off for like 60 in the finals or Draymond Green gets like a 20, 15, and 10 kind of game, I mean, look, this Golden State Warriors team. They're going to be led. They're going to lead and die by Steph Curry, and I trust the lead over the die part. So I'm going to go Steph Curry Finals MVP. But here's a dark horse MVP candidate that you need to be thinking about. You need to be thinking about Andrew Wiggins. That guy, if he locks down Jason Tatum, and if Steph Curry happens to quote unquote underachieve in the finals, Andrew Wiggins could easily win Finals MVP. There's a precedent to that. You look at Kawhi Leonard with LeBron James back in the 2014 Finals. Now look, I'm not saying that Andrew Wiggins is Kawhi Leonard. Now, let, let's make that clear. But what's to say that that Andrew Wiggins won't play an Andre Iguodala type of role and like, he, like Iggy did in the 2015 finals? But anyway, stuff. I'm going to go ahead, pick Steph Curry to win finals MVP. What's going to be your stat line for Steph Curry in the finals? What's his averages? Uh, 35 and 8. 35 and 8. 35 uh, 30 and points, eight. 5 rebounds, 8 assists a game. All right. Well, I'm not quite as confident as you, but I'm going to say Steph Curry's going to put up 28 and 7, but he's going to shoot very efficiently from the field because Steph Curry's not the kind of guy that'll take 20 to 25 shots a game. He's not going to play solo act, nor should he, nor does he need to because he's going to feed the ball to Clay. He's going to feed the ball to Andrew Wiggins. He's going to make Draymond Green look good with setting up this off offensive screens. He's going to get the ball to Kevon Looney in the dunker spot. He's going to elevate Jordan Poole. So, I'm, look, Steph Curry, he's a great player on the stat sheet, but Steph Curry is one of those players where you need to see him in order to truly know how great he is. And I'm telling you what, if Steph Curry wins this finals MVP, to me, he's the greatest point guard to have ever played in the history of the NBA, and he's a top 10 player all time. That's where I'm at with this. So I'm going to go ahead and declare the Warriors to win this series in seven games as Steph Curry will ball out in the finals and justify himself as the greatest point guard of all time. He's going to average 29, I meant 28 and 7. So that's the way I'm going to go with it. He's going to do it on insane deficiency. You're going to go with Warriors in 5, maximum 6, correct? Maximum 6, yes, sir. Yep. But you're going to save Warriors in 5, right? Like, yeah, Warriors in 5. That's Warriors in 5. Warriors in 5. So you got Warriors in 5. I got Warriors in 7. Well, 
Thanks for being on the show, Atroid. Really appreciate you coming on here. All right, make sure you follow his Instagram at Atroid Talks. And then he also has a YouTube channel. His content is freaking awesome. You need to freaking check it out. I love his content. It's great out there. His YouTube channel name is Atroid Talk Show. All right, so I'm going to put those links in the description box below. It was great having you on here. Thanks, man. Yeah, gr great seeing you. Hopefully you can come back on here sooner rather than later, maybe even to break down the finals, but we'll see what happens with that. All right, hey, let's do it. <laughs> yep. See ya, bro. All right, have a good one. Yep. Bye. That was A. Troy from the A. Troy Talk Show. All right, so he's a Warriors fan. He's declaring that the Warriors are going to go ahead and win the series in five games. While I'm not quite as confident as he is, while I'm going to go ahead and say that the Warriors will win this series in seven games. Overall, though, we both basically agree on how this finals will play out. We got Steph Curry balling out. We both got him winning NBA Finals MVP for the 2022 NBA Finals. So that's the way we're looking at it. So that is why the Warriors will win the NBA Finals against the Celtics in seven games. That means I got the Warriors in seven. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking. Like the video and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in a future video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking? the home of great sports content, make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.